Um, name is Hayward Harris, Nona Sharib doctor. One million dollars is an extraordinary amount of money to think about. One year we were at 8% of the KCBS contest for that year. Two years ago, it was a So, number one, I had heat first more than anything else. I uh, had an interesting, odd taste on the second bite that I took, but my favorite was probably going to be number two. Uh, it had a latent heat. Uh, it was very light on the sweet, but it had a really nice flavor to it. Uh, my other favorite would probably be number six. Again, light, sweet, very little heat on the back of it, but it was very tender, and that was very important. Uh, number four had some sweet, again, that one had no heat on it. So we had a real broad range on the chicken that we had today. There was no real clear winner out of all six. Uh, I found the flavor on number one um, to be excellent. Um, <clears throat> touch of sweet at the beginning, but not too much. Uh, touch of heat, but not too much. And. Um, excellent excellent profile and my second favorite is as far as flavor would be number three which um, maybe had a hint of caramel almost in it um, just really nice flavor profile and uh, just lost a point on on tenderness the skin was just a touch chewy on it uh, my least favorite would have to be a toss-up between uh, number two and number four uh, I thought number two the sauce was a little too globby and uh, there's a little chewy tenderness to it and you know, kind of a strange flavor to it. Not bad but ju just different and, and not in the top tier and then, then number four was, was definitely too sweet um, very candy 
flavored. Again, not a not a bad piece of chicken at all, but in comparison uh, to the other six, that would be my my second least favorite. Well, I will start with telling you number six was probably my favorite. I liked the hint of sweet with enough spice to really feel the burn but not last too long. The other, th there were three that were kind of similar in taste, um, very sweet and spicy but not as well combined as others. My least favorite were number two and number four. I didn't really appreciate the the clump of injected spices in the middle of number two and number four didn't really have enough kick to it to make it memorable and I would say those are my rankings. On mine, I'd say uh, one and two were probably my favorite. Two I liked the best. I, th I think I had the best heat, the best sweet, and just wasn't, it was just perfect. I gave that one a perfect score. The one I liked the least was number six. The reason why I, th I thought mine was a little too smoky, and that was my only drawback on there. But uh, three and four were excellent, but all the scores on my plate were all eights and nines. Excellent, excellent entries. For um, my chicken, number one had quite a bit of spice to it. It had a good bite to it. Um, number two was probably my least favorite one, but um, for my favorites, I would have to say I think number five and number six had really great flavor profiles, and um, the chicken overall was just, just really excellent. Number one and two I felt were a little on the dry side, good flavor. Number uh, three, again, uh, above average. Four had a, uh, a nice bite to it, uh, good taste. Number five uh, was, I think, a definite runner-up. Number six was my all-time favorite, had a really nice flavor. The meat was very tender and sweet. Uh, out of these plates of ribs, um, I thought number one and five were the two best. Um, I would give five the overall uh, edge over number one. Uh, number one has spectacular um, moisture content, but it was like five minutes away from being a perfect rib. Uh, number five was cooked perfectly, nice flavor, nice moisture, and uh, nice bite through. Well, I kind of agree with Hayward on that. I, I really like number five. I thought it was just slightly overcooked, but boy, it sure tasted good. The way it uh, came off from the bone it was a little overcooked, but it sure was. It tastes great. I think we're uh, <clears throat> in agreement. Five for me was a little overcooked, but uh, I actually like number three for, for myself. Um, just everything was pretty nice and tender and just nice and tasty. We are a very consistent table. I liked number five the best as well, although I thought it was a little overcooked. Um, I liked three and six as well. Um, a couple of them were a little on the sweet side for my taste. One and five were 
the best out of them that I thought. Number five was a little overcooked, but as far as flavor-wise, number five rocked it. The others weren't bad. A few of them were overcooked. You need this back? I thought all six were excellent. I would have loved to have just finished the whole plate. Um, <laughs> actually, the second one, um, it looked dry, but it was incredibly smoky and tender. The fifth one for me, um, as thick as it was, I was shocked at how uh, tender it was, so that was a bonus for it. Um, my pick of the litter on this thing was probably number two and number one, both excellent ribs. My wife is really good at that. That's her job. Ah. I figured it was you. <laughs> Since you're the OC one. What's that? Putting uh, luggage in a car to go on a vacation or a trip. Luggage? Like putting meat in a box? Oh. It's like playing Tetris? Pretty much. That's why he does it. I throw everything in the Walmart sack and on the back seat. <laughs> Barbecue's a visual thing. It is. It's like that guy told me earlier. I said, you can film as much as you want. Because your team looks professional. Like, you know, a lot of guys just wearing t-shirts and kind of meant a lot to me. I'm like, oh, we did something right. Okay, this is the pork category. Uh, overall, they all looked really, really well. My favorite was the first one, number one, and number three was good also. There were a couple. Number five was a little bit bland to me, a little bit overcooked. Number six was a little sweet. They all, they all looked really well, though. Uh, that's about it. Eight, I had to ding on appearance. It was a little bit haphazard, and it had an offsetting taste in it. And that was a little overcooked. That's about it. Overall, they all had similar appearances. Uh, my favorite two were the first one and the third one. Uh, the first one was probably the best one for me. Excellent flavor, consistent in both pieces. Both pieces were same tenderness, flavor, very consistent, as well as the third one. The least favorite was, num was uh, what, the fifth one, which was very bland and it was mushy. And then the last one, although sweet, I, I didn't I thought it was okay, but the muscle and the pulled pork was was very good and consistent, but the sliced piece was more mushy, and I had to ding it for that. Well, we're going to sound like a broken record. My favorite was number one. Uh, really, it, just, it had the true barbecue flavor that really came out on it. Uh, you know, two was tender. The money muscle was real tender, but the flavor was kind of light. Um, had a lot of culprits here, and maybe it's just my pet peeve that some of them are oversauced. Uh, uh, you know, but generally they all look good in the box. Probably only other call out number five. I've never seen a chunk bigger than a money muscle before in my life. That's as big as two of my fingers. Um, that may have hurt him a little bit too, because I don't think the flavor was as strong in those pieces. Uh, six, I really enjoyed the flavor. Unfortunately, the money muscle I had on that. And you can kind of tell by being sliced so thin. My, my piece of money muscle was very, very tough. So I think they probably sliced it thin to, to cheat their way into that. I echo everything that's been said. <laughs> Number one was by far my favorite. It was a pretty box. It had good flavor, good texture. Um, number the others were pretty comparable as the others I thought two and six were a little over sauced um, number five f tasted real hammy not necessarily like pulled pork and the chunks were way too big I'll be the contrarian judge um, I well everybody else seemed to really like number one I thought it was great but I didn't think it was a winner it seemed like a very good barbecue but but not uh, top tier not something that I would uh, vote as a nine or you know uh, put up for a win um, I also felt like the chunk that I got was pretty dry um, otherwise it was it was generally good uh, number two the uh, the slices were very fatty uh, they looked un unrendered um, and that came through in the texture um, the bite that I took was was pretty much just mushy fat. Um, 
the flavor was good, but it wasn't anything that was special. Number three, um, I really liked the color and the way that it was displayed. It was a nice array of meat. Um, it gave us a good look at all the sides of it so that you could tell that the meat was moist. Um, it was All the slices were evenly done, so that was, that was nicely done. I thought the flavor was spot on. It was very rich. It was sweet. It was spicy. It hit all the right notes for me. It was exactly what I'm looking for in a, in a pork. Um, and then on top of that, I thought everything was very tender and very moist. I didn't get it to the, the mushy stage. It wasn't something you could chew with your tongue. You needed your teeth, but it wasn't so hard that it was tough. Uh, number four, I thought was, in appearance, it was uh, oversauced a little un unevenly. Um, I don't mind a lot of sauce, but you need to apply it evenly. Um, it was very tender and, and well done, though. Um, I thought the flavor was great. I got what tasted to me like a little bit of peach, a little bit of apricot. It was very rich. It was full of depth, uh, layers of flavor to it, so fantastically well done. Um, number five was probably my least favorite of all of them. Um, it looked really nice, but once you got it uh, into your mouth, it was kind of bland. Uh, it was kind of mushy and, and a little bit dry. Uh, and then number six uh, was also one of my favorites. Three and six were my two favorites. Um, number six was an example of one that had a lot of sauce on it, but it was evenly done, so I've, I, I thought that was fine. It had really good color contrast in the box. The uh, money muscle was nicely browned, and the others were just a good, nice pork color. Um, had great flavor. It was very rich and very sweet, and it was very moist and tender. Okay, uh, number six was uh, good down-home brisket. That was probably my favorite uh, here, given that it wasn't spicy. Uh, number three just absolutely fell apart, and its chine was absolutely mushy. And for me, number four had the best flavor. It wasn't overdone. It was a little bit, maybe a little bit underdone, but it had a great flavor and a good chew to it. Number three um, was very mushy, had a really kind of a weird sauce, it's kind of more of a fruity flavor, which doesn't go that well on beef. And then the burn end was very mushy. 
I would agree as far as uh, number three being definitely very, very mushy. Uh, four and five were my favorite flavor-wise. Um, good, a little bit of spice, not too much kick to them, but uh, kind of enhanced the, the beef flavor. And um, I thought number six was also pretty tasty. Just had, a again, that good, like, basic flavor to it. Let the kind of the beef shine through. My number one, number two, number five, and number six was absolutely delicious. Everything was great. Uh, number three was overcooked. Number four was undercooked. It had a nice flavor, but uh, I needed a, a hacksaw to kind of get it apart. <laughs> My favorites were number three, four, or excuse me, uh, four, five, and six were my favorites, with actually number six outlasting the others by a little bit of a margin. He didn't use any sauce on there, just some real nice rub. What a great taste uh, on those uh, number six on the other two also. Uh, my least favorite was number three, very mushy, real sauced up, not impressive. Yeah, I don't know that we're all agreeing, but one and two were my favorites. Uh, I like the tenderness and the flavor of all of them. Number three also, just wow, way too much sauce and, and overcooked, as was number four. Uh, was a little overcooked for me. And number five, which was some people's favorite, was uh, really dried out and, and overcooked for me. And uh, number six, not too bad, kind of thick, a little dried out, but overall pretty good.